Hey guys, welcome back. It's Bricks Below back here with another city update. Now, today's city update actually starts somewhere different. Usually, I start the updates by basically showing you guys a wide overview of the city. But a viewer in a previous video actually suggested that I show you guys me opening up the bed and the process of that. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you might be wondering what, what you know what I mean by bed and what I'm actually doing is I'm building an entire Lego city underneath my bed. And so this is kind of the journey and the updates that I do uh, showing you guys that city. And so without further ado, let me get started by uh, opening up the bed. All right, let me move the camera so you guys can see. All right, so um, I know this might have been a little bit hard, but what I actually do to open up the, the, the bed is basically there's this cord here, and when you pull up, it it's pushes this rod back. It's actually a little bit hard to do one-handed. That's why I had to leave the camera there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all you need to do. You just need to pull up on this cord. Uh, it pulls this rod back, and then down here, there is this latch. And so basically, that's how the whole bed works. Um, there's, uh, sorry for the light, it's a little bright. Um, there's these hydraulic... Um, cylinders on both sides and so obviously you know once you get up to a certain level it kind of pushes the whole thing up and so yeah that's pretty much the process of opening up the bed but yeah aside from that let's get started with the city update um here's a wide overview like i said i like to do these wide overviews of this whole city um as you guys can see there hasn't been too many changes except for one major area which is right over here and so this is a a fake lego tunnel and what I mean by that is basically it's a tunnel that is just a wall. Um, and the reason for this is basically, as you guys as you guys know, you know, this whole city is being built underneath a bed. And so there's these walls that are all around the whole area. Now, when I designed the city, I knew that I wanted to kind of give a storyline to the city. And so what I kind of imagine is basically the city is inside a maybe like a, a valley um, with some mountains. And so you know, the walls are kind of the mountains. Um, and so what I ended up doing is I ended up basically building these, uh, this tunnel and just kind of to give that, that illusion and that appearance. And so, um, I built this up. Um, I'm okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. There's a couple things that I want to fix, um, that I kind of just don't have the pieces for. And so I may order some different pieces and mostly it's the fact of doing, I want to add more. Um, if you guys look at this building, this is that one by two, that's kind of like the masonry bricks. And I like to add more of those into here. Um, cause I don't have enough, um, or I didn't have enough, but I'd like to get some more and use those there. Um, but yeah, I also added a little bit of detail around, um, you know, just some trees and flowers and things like that. But I really like the way it looks, um, towards the top, it kind of gives a, a sort of a mini castle vibe, sort of thing and so this is what I built um, I'm happy with it I'm happy with the way it looks and kind of its appearance and, and like I said kind of its illusions uh, something I may do in the future is actually build uh, a rock wall using the uh, bluish bluish gray um, slope pieces and and, uh, and things like that but uh, that may be a little bit later on uh, in time but overall I built this one tunnel uh, my plan is actually to build uh, was to build this tunnel and then eventually work on another tunnel over here as you guys can see there's another railroad crossing um, that leads to nowhere right now so I like to build a, uh, a crossing there but aside from that uh, I've also worked on the railroad crossing itself and so as you can see um, I basically finished it off um, it was a little it's a little hard to get basically the right fit um, because as you can see part of the railroad crossing is on a curve but yeah, overall, um, I think it looks good. I also went ahead and added a dashed line on the other side just to give, again, the illusion that it's on a road. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it uh, for the major updates. Um, in terms of the rest of the city, not too many changes. I'm mostly just cleaning up some things here and there. Um, I'm thinking about possibly working on this side next and uh, fixing up the sidewalk. I'm already waiting for more um, light gray pieces and light bluish gray uh, pieces. I mean mostly tiles, um, just to finish up the sidewalks all around. But overall, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think of the whole city um, as a whole, especially if you guys are new subscribers. Um, I really enjoy reading you guys' comments and suggestions um, based on the city. So if you guys uh, enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, again, leave your comments down below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.